Bill doesn't have this video. All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today our friend Thomas, who drives a 2015 Mustang EcoBoost, has decided to come to the dark side and switch to E30. So because he's wanting to do that, um, the last piece that he needs for his puzzle is the um, ethanol content sensor. So he has that since we've installed mine twice now. Um, we're gonna help him do that and we'll show you how it goes. It's pretty simple if you have the right tool. So we'll show you that too. Today, we're gonna install this. An ethanol sensor for EcoBoost. If you guys want to run E30, this is probably the easiest way to do it. it. Makes life a whole lot easier. You don't have to be testing all the time and stuff like that. All right, the first thing we need to do is we need to release the high pressure fuel line. This is not a typical fuel line for most cars. I guess the direct injected uses these high pressure ones. So you require this little tool to release it. It's kind of a pain in the butt to, to get it in there, but once you get it in there, it should pop right out. What's it called? Uh... So D is the correct letter to remove the fuel line. Will you say that tool it does when you put it on it? It, has, it, it, it pop. There's some kind of little. I would say there's a little spring in there. Mm -hmm. There's a spring release, and it pushes up the spring to release the line. But you gotta remember what freaking uh, hole it is from the last time you did it. It make your life a little fucking easier. There only one or two. There ain't gotta be none of these little big ones. Here goes another uh, thirty minute job to. Uh... <laughs> on all day event. Bill doesn't have this video. We'll be back on the road in no time. Mm -hmm. I have this tool you said. Yeah. Make your life easier, you it said. It should, yeah. yeah. That's my, wife, my wife bought this tool. That's what it's designed to do. Yeah. All right, how are you next? Is this not going in? All right, King Arthur. Pull the sword out of the stone. All right, so this doesn't have so this doesn't have any pressure, right? No. Well, I mean, there's a little and pressure. And this in there. little sleeve is gonna go in, in there. That pops in there and releases it. I mean, if we want to relieve it now, we can just take that sensor off. No, but it's not because of the pressure. So you gotta have the right size that goes in. Yeah, it pops. And it pops it out. There you go. All right, get that towel on me. Put it underneath that sensor. There's gonna be a few in there. Also replace the sensor to keep your engine from blowing up. Purge valve for the race car shit. So 
so it goes to the sensor and then back over there. Yeah, yeah. So this and comes straight from, this is the main fuel line from the tank. And it goes to the sensor. And then it goes into the jack injection. And it has a connection for the stock. Yeah, I think this converts it into high pressure for the fuel injectors. And where is the, oh, you, you plug here the power source? Yeah, it just it's yeah. just two wires. So what's a yellow wire even do on it? It's a memory if you, uh, like that. I mean, it doesn't really need to have a memory. It's a constant. Oh, so that is like, have you ever had an amp in a car or something like that? Yeah, okay. Same so, thing. Uh, so it's a trigger wire, basically, to turn it yeah. on and on. Okay. But it stays, as long as you put it, because Adam, I think Adam told her, you can put it to the battery, it doesn't draw enough power to drain anything. Yeah, it's like five volts. Yeah, yeah so he said you really have nothing to worry about, so. Your Bluetooth won't connect. Consider this an open complaint. Yeah. <laughs> Revision 2. <laughs>